Well, uh, Maximo, apparently it's just just you for today. Probably the other ones are going to be connecting in some minutes, but we don't know. So uh, they will probably connect. Let me just check here what we have. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Can, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. I listen. Oh. You. Perfect. So I see the other ones are connecting. So that's that's perfect. So um, I hope you guys had a great day. I, I understand that some of you probably worked during the day and some of you are just having some issues trying to connect on time. That's completely understandable. And so as usual, we are going to have a brief review about the last class. So that's what we're going to do right now. It's just a brief review, just checking that you understood what we said yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about simple past and we saw like a general overview about the simple past. And uh, as I told you yesterday, we have some time expressions that are going to help us to understand that we or to know that we are talking about the past. Can someone of you tell me like one or two time expressions that can help us to understand when we're talking about the simple past? Yesterday? Yesterday, yeah, that's one. Ago. Ago, excellent. Last week, last year. Excellent. Last, last year, day. Last month. Yeah, all of them. So those time expressions are going to help us to understand, obviously, that we're talking about the simple past. Okay, so uh, just let me check here. I have a little cough today, so it's... Let me just double check the information here. All right, so uh, yesterday we also checked, we, we just had a brief review or brief information about the type of verbs that we have in simple past. Which are the two type of verbs that we have in simple, like in the past tense or that we use in the past tense? What type of verbs do we have? Irregular and regular verb. Regular and irregular verb. So yesterday we just have, we just checked some things, some pronunciations, but today we are going to focus specifically in one of them. So today we are going to see the simple past once again, but today focusing on regular verbs. Today we are going to understand how to form them how to know when to form a, a regular verb, some spelling rules that we will need to understand, and obviously the three pronunciations that we have in regular verbs. Also, today we're going to have more practice with pronunciation and listening. Today we are going to have kind of a small test. It's going to be like a little exam in which will help me to understand how well you understand or how is your listening working. If you're listening correctly, if you're good enough or capable enough to understand when someone is speaking to you in English. So today we're going to have that little exam. We're going to call it little exam because it's not a big one. It's just a brief test. So I'm telling you since now, so uh, uh, what I really want you is to pay attention today to the pronunciation. So when we have that activity or that small exam, you are not lost, okay? So I need you to pay attention to those things. So let's start with today's class. Let me, let me share that slide with you. Okay, here we go. All right. Can everyone see it? Okay. 
Yes. Cool. So as you can see here, once again, uh, we're going to still be talking about the simple past, but today is going to be specifically on regular verbs. So today we're going to learn, as I said, pronunciation of the regular verbs and spelling rules, which are going to help you to really understand and to know the best way or the way you have to pronounce verbs, specifically regular verbs in past tense. Because most of the time, simple past or when someone is talking in simple past, that's where we can find most of the mistakes because sometimes we are not able to pronunciate those verbs correctly. So let's start with that information. Today, we're going to remember what we saw yesterday. And um, I will just read this information because this information we saw it yesterday, okay? So we're just gonna go uh, directly with, with that and I will just read it. Once again, the simple past is something that we use to express an idea of an action that started and finished at a specific time in the past. And as we said at the beginning of the class, there's some time expressions that are going to help us to understand that we're talking about the simple past. And as Maximo told me some examples about it, he mentioned some of these ones that we have here. So he said ago, last month, last year, last day. Um, well, we have some others, right? So all of them are going to help us to understand that we're talking about the simple past. Uh, so now, yesterday we saw these rules, we saw these verbs, so I'm pretty sure that you remember the pronunciation of those. So I will start with Maximo. Can you help me, Maximo, reading the simple form, then the past tense of all of them, please? Walk, walk, mm -hmm. study, studied, mm -hmm. cry, cried, okay, live, lived, okay, Rosemary, walk, walk, story, story, cry, cried, life, life. Thank you very much. Luis Arevalo, you there? Walk, walk, study, studied, mm -hmm. cry, cried, mm -hmm. live, live. Thank you very much. Patricia Rodriguez? Work, work, study, study. Cry, cry, live, live. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see Sonia Araceli, are you there? Yes, good evening. Good evening, go ahead, please. Work, work, study, study, cry, cry, Live, live. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see the last one. It's going to be Nancy Gutierrez. Nancy, let me listen to you. Okay, teacher. Walk, walk. Study, studio. Cry, cry. Live, live. Thank you very much. So guys, um, I listened to all of you and the majority of you mispronounce this verb. I heard that you were saying walk, walk, and things like that. But we do not say that. We say walk. We never pronounce, even though we have a letter A there, Aunque tenemos una letra A y una L, in English, we do not pronounce those letters. Those are silence letters. So even though we have an A and L, we say walk, walked, 
okay? So those pronunciations, don't worry about it. Today, we're going to learn how to make or how to know when to pronounce a T, when to pronounce a D, and when to pronounce ED, okay? So today, we're going to understand that. So let's move on. And here we have the rules. So I need you to pay attention on this part, guys, and I need you to completely understand that. If there's any question while I am explaining this, I need you to please tell me, teacher, can you repeat that again? Because I need you to understand this. Because if you don't understand this, you might get lost and you might be doing like a lot of mistakes in the future, okay? So here we have the first rule, infinitive. What does infinitive mean? When I say infinitive, I'm saying base form. It's the, base, the same thing. When I say infinitive or every single time that you see the word infinitive in a book or in a grammar book or something like that, remember that it's just the base form, la forma base, okay? So the first rule, it says, to the base form of the verb, we just add ed, or just the letter d. Okay, if you can see here, visit, visited, love, loved. So that rule is very, very simple. We don't have to complicate that much. So, and rule number two, we got to be careful on that. When we have a vowel plus the letter Y, we do not modify the letter Y. The letter Y will still remain as letter Y, and we are only going to add ED at the end. We have the verb enjoy so easily because the letter Y is preceded by a, a vowel, we never modify the Y. So we just add ED to form the past tense. Enjoy, enjoyed, okay? What does enjoy mean, guys? Divertirse. Divertirse? Okay. Disfrutar. 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 Yeah. All right. Now, in rule number three, as you can see in rule number three, it says, when a verb is preceded by a consonant and after the consonant, we have a letter Y, there we are going to modify or to change the letter Y for a letter I, and we are going to add ED at the end. So you see? Here we have a Y, and here we change it for a letter I, and we add ED. So study, studied, okay? You can see the difference. So it's very important that you take a look or that you try to remember those two rules because sometimes they might be a little bit confusing or tricky. If you don't remember the rule in an exam, you might write it wrong, or you could probably write it wrong uh, because you forgot the rule. So it's very important that you remember when the letter Y is preceded by a vowel, don't modify the Y. But if the letter Y is preceded by a consonant, there you will have to change or modify the letter Y for a letter I, and I and add, I'm sorry, ED. That's it. Questions so far? No, teacher. So far, so good? Yes. Perfect. So let's continue with another spelling rule. Another rule says or stands that we have one C level verbs. What does it mean? one syllable verbs. Because when we pronounce it, we don't make more than one syllable. If I say stop, it's just one syllable. 
So that's why we call it one syllable verb. That is vowel, consonant, and vowel. Take a look at this. When we have something like this, cuando tenemos un pattern, cuando tenemos un patrón como el siguiente, consonant, vowel, consonant. What do we have to do? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer cuando tenemos un patrón como ese? We have to double, duplicaremos la última letra del verbo y agregamos ed. So, consonant, vowel, consonant. If we have something like that, we double the last letter of the verb and we add ed. Stop, stopped. Bat, bat. Okay? Do it's it's clear this room? Well, I will take your silence as a yes. So we have uh, the last one, which it says two syllables with stress on second syllable and ending with a single consonant, double the consonant and add ed. Once again, to a syllable with a stress on the second syllable and ending with a single consonant, add ed and double the last consonant. We have permit, permitted, commit, committed. So as you can see, we have the stress on the second syllable. Because I'm not saying permit. Because if I say permit, that's something different. I'm saying permit, permitted, commit, committed. So we got to be careful again with the stress. And when we listen that a two syllable verb and we make the stress on the second syllable, and that second syllable ends in a single consonant we will have to double the last consonant and add ed at the end. So we can make the simple past. With those spelling rules that we have, those are the only ones that we have for regular verbs. This information is just for regular verbs, okay? Forget about irregulars right now. Right now, just focus on regular verbs because today it's all about regular verbs. So with these rules that I just said, is there any question or is anyone of you trying to know something else? Do you want me to explain you one more time or it's clear? Teacher, uh, repeat one more time. Which one? All of them? The, the, the last one. The last one. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, perfect. So, uh, as you can see here on the rule, it says two syllable verbs. How do I know it is two syllables? Because when I pronounce it, I make two pronunciations like permit. You see, permit. So I, that's two syllables. So that's the first thing. Number two, it says two syllables with stress on the second syllable. Am I saying permit or permit? When I say permit, am I doing the, the stress on the first syllable or in the second one? Listen, permit. Second one. Second. Second. On the second one. And if I say permit. Second one. So both of them were in the second one? The first. Listen again. If I say permit. First or second? The first. 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 The first. first. The first. The first. The first. The first. Now, the first. if I say okay. permit. Second, second. That's the second. Okay. 
So in this case, this verb, we make the stress on the second one. So we say permit, permitted. So when we have a verb like this one and we make the stress on the second syllable, like in this one, and the verb ends in a single consonant, we will have to double the last consonant and we will have to add ed at the end so we can make the past tense. Permit, permitted. Commit, committed. As you can see, that's pretty much it. So once again, any other doubt, comment? Or are we clear with this information so far? Que cae hable ahora, cae para siempre, vea. Clear. Okay. It's clear the other ones because just just um, Maximo said clear. What about the other ones? Yes, teacher. It's clear for me. Clear. Okay, Luis. Good. Well. So I will take those two confirmation as a yes, and I will move on. All right, so here we have very important guys. Esto es muy importante and I will say this in Spanish because I uh, quiero que en realidad se aprendan estas tres pronunciaciones que son las tres tipos de pronunciaciones que tenemos con los verbos regulares. Esto va a ser muy importante a partir de ahora. So, porque a partir de ahora, el día de mañana, no quiero escuchar a nadie pronunciando incorrectamente. ¿Por qué? Porque ya vimos las tres pronunciaciones. So, si al, alguien tiene preguntas, una vez más, haga las preguntas necesarias para poder comprender. ¿Ok? That's why we are here. Por eso estamos acá. So, you have to learn as much as possible. Are we clear? Si estamos claros. Yes. Okay, very good. So, as you can see here, it says a pronunciation of the words ending in ed depends on the final consonant sound. There are three ways, as you can see here, we make the pronunciation ed, we make the pronunciation t, make the pronunciation d. See? ¿Sí? Hay veces tienden a confundirme el sonido de la T. Los sonidos de las eh, eh, letras no cambian. Si yo digo T, es T, T, T. Ese es sonidito T, T. Si yo digo D, es como D, D, D. That's it. So esos soniditos, I need you to work on that. Trabajar en eso. Si usted siente que no lo puede hacer, Practice, practice and practice so you can master it, okay? So, una de las más difíciles de hacer o hay veces un poco más complicada es esta, porque no es id. The pronunciation is id. Wanted, wanted, needed. It's not id, okay? So, we gotta be careful with that. So, we're going to start. This uh three sounds or three pronunciations that we have are going to be based on the last letter or on the last consonant of the verb si el verbo termina en t or d yo le voy a agregar ed y lo voy a pronunciar ed okay just those two letters. If the bird ends in P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, F, C, or X, I will add ED and I will pronounce it T. If the bird ends in L, N, R, G, V, S, 
W, Y, or Z, I will pronounce the verb as D. Are we understanding so far? Yes. Cool. So yeah. those verbs that we have here, the T sound, estos verbos le llamamos voiceless. Why do we call them voiceless? Les llamamos así porque cuando usted los pronuncia, su garganta no debe de hacer ningún movimiento ni vibración. Solo es como que el sonido lo hace con la boca. Pero cuando usted hace esta pronunciación con la letra D, estos verbos sí causan vibración en su garganta. Let's try to do that. Y traten de probarlo ustedes uh, in your house, ¿ok? Doing whatever, like, in your house. So, let's try. For example, in the first one, en el primero, tenemos helped, helped. 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 When we pronounce helped. that verb, cuando pronunciamos ese verbo, si usted se puede tocar acá en la garganta, no debería de causar ningún tipo de vibración. Si a usted le vibra, cuando usted le está pronunciando, significa que usted no lo está pronunciando bien. Helped. 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 Looked. 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 Watched. 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 So, this one, estos dos, es bien importante saber cuál es la diferencia entre pronunciarlos. Esta SH yo la voy a pronunciar como como aire. Washed. 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 Y esta CH la voy a pronunciar como la CH de nuestro español. So I'm going to say watched, watched, you see? Watched. So watched, 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 watched. So it's very important that pronunciation. So let's move on. Locked, 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 locked. breathed, 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 kissed, kissed. kissed. Danced, 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 fixed, fixed. All right. So fixed. Uh, that's those are voiceless. Les digo una vez más. Si usted repitió ahí en su casa y le vibró su, if you have vibration in your throat, it means that you are not pronouncing correctly the verb because those are voiceless, okay? So you have to keep pronunciating them or you have to keep uh, practicing so you can master them. And these ones, en los que tenemos con la letra D, pronunciation D, D, okay? Estos les llamamos voiced. Estos sí causan vibración en su garganta, in your throat, okay? So when you pronounce them, you will feel the vibration in your throat. For example, cold, cold, cold. Cleaned. cold, cleaned, offered, offered, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, used, used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Okay. So Amazed. now we have the pronunciation in T and the pronunciation on the letter D. Let's move <clears> on <throat> to the last part. These birds. So as I told you before, this pronunciation is in. It. That's the pronunciation that we're looking Want. for. Wanted. Wanted. Want. Needed. Want to. Needed. Needed. Okay. Needed. 
It's also very important to know that when, when you're talking with a native speaker, cuando están hablando con una persona nativa del idioma, lo pueden escuchar que lo pronuncia este de acá, wanted, lo puede pronunciar either wanted or wanted. Wanted, pero ese sonido se, eh, se hace únicamente cuando las dos personas están hablando un inglés fluido. And the pronunciation is still, uh, it's still fine. So, for example, if I'm talking in English, talking and talking and talking, and I say, uh, I wanted to know, you see, I wanted to know. So when you have that fluency, the, the pronunciation changes a little bit, but the ending, el final siempre va a ser ed, one ed. So you can say either one ed, cuando ya hablemos un poquito más rápido, but for the moment, solo es wanted, wanted, okay? So, with all this information, con toda esta información that I just said, does any one of you have any questions so far? No, teacher. Estamos claros como que el examen que vamos a hacer ahora, todos vamos a salir con 10, porque vamos a hacer examen. Let me tell you. Sí, teacher, para mí está claro. Lo único que sí es de esforzarse para aprender bien la pronunciación. Es lo único. Right. Yes. Perfect. So, let's move on then. Um, teacher. Yes. I don't see the letter F. The letter F. Well, what do you mean? In the... In which... Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't. Oh, do you mean um, an example teacher? Oh, in, in these ones? The, the, See, the, letter, the, letter, the letter F in oh. which ubication. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, at the moment, there, porque no tenemos algún verbo en sí que en la letra F. That's the reason why. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, there's, there's, um, there's some words or there's some uh, adjectives. Hay algunos adjetivos que, al vez, que hay veces se pueden utilizar como verbos. Pero en sí, verbs ending in the letter F, we don't have verbs ending in the letter F. So that's the reason why you cannot see the letter F over there. Not even the vowels are there. So, um, here we have a big list, a very big list of some verbs. Now, based on what we just understood or the rules that we just saw, I will choose, well, all of you are going to participate today all of you, okay? So I will be taking into consideration if you participate and if you want, I will also notice that, okay? So Maximo, I will ask you to be the first one. Of, of course, if you would like to be the first one. If not, I'm going to choose someone else because you always participate, so. Would you like to be the first one, Maximo? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Now, according to the rules in pronunciation that we just saw, I need you to make the pronunciation of the verb that I'm pointing right here. Guest. Guest. Very. Why do you think that we made the pronunciation of the letter T? Because the verb ending in double S. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Luis Arevalo. Yes, teacher. I need you to make the pronunciation of 
this verb that I'm pointing here. Perform it, this verb? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. Can, can you make the pronunciation again? Okay, one second. Just say that the word you think it is, uh, Luis. No, no, teacher. You don't know? Okay, that's fine. Sonia. Sonia. Hello. Hello, Sonia. Can you please make the pronunciation of this bird that I'm pointing at? Look. Okay. Was was there, Arnoldo? Now I need you to make the pronunciation of this verb right here. Attend you. Okay, Juan Cruz. Please the pronunciation of this one right here. Realize. Okay, Rosemary. Uh, let me see. This one right here. Like to. Okay. Claudia. Uh, let me see. This one right here. Sure. Sure. Okay, let me see Fatima Guardado, this one right here. Nice. Painted. Okay, that was good. Nancy Gutierrez, this one right here. Plano. Okay, what's there? Ana Maritza, this one. Here. Okay. Patricia Rodriguez. This one right here. Okay. Cecilia Rivas. This one. No, this one right here. Hi, eh, permítame, permítame que. Kyle. Okay, let me see. And this one right here. Vilma. Defend. Hello, Vilma. Well, I think she's not there. Okay, uh, Different. Damaris then, can you, can you make the pronunciation of this one? Damaris Vega. Uh, repeat. Okay, and the last one, Alba Marisol. Make the pronunciation of this one, please. Uh, well, I, I barely hear what you said. Okay, thanks so much. All right, guys. I can see that we still have a lot. We have a lot, a lot to practice. Tenemos mucho que practicar. Oh, let me see. A quien no le pregunté. Didn't I ask someone? Oh, Elizabeth, there you are. I knew that I was not asking to see. Elizabeth Hiron, let me see. Um, I need you to pronounce this bird. Okay. Did I ask someone? No le pregunté a alguien? Someone? Honest, okay. 
okay? Honest. Now, all of you participated? Well, so as I was saying, guys, we have a lot to practice. Tenemos mucho que practicar, okay? Uh, pronunciation is the most important part. La pronunciación es lo más en lo que tenemos que trabajar. So, um, teacher, ¿cómo, ¿cómo era la pronunciación en el verbo que me preguntó? This one. Para... Ajá, correcto. Now, si termina con la letra M, ¿cómo lo voy a pronunciar al final? That's the first question. Es la primera pregunta que te hago a ti. Mm -hmm. La pronuncio D, T, or, or E, D. What's the pronunciation I do? E, D. E, D. OK. Alguien más puede refutar or some, someone can say something different? Or do you all agree with what he said? Only D. D. I, I was going to pronounce the letter D. Luis, I was going to say performed, performed. Performed. Solo, okay. solo se pronuncia la letra D. The letter D. Yo no, eh, no decimos performed, no. We say performed. 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 That's the way that we pronounce it, okay? So, guys, um, here we have the... You're welcome. So we have three columns, tres columnas, right here. All these verbs that we have in this area, right here, we are going to pronounce them how? Como lo vamos a pronunciar these ones right here? T. These ones right here? D. And these ones right here? ED. So um, since we do not have enough time right now, I'm just checking the clock and I can see that we don't have time, too much time. So I will just repeat some of them, okay? I will just repeat this line, this line, this line, and this line, okay? So pay attention to it. Asked, baked, brushed, cooked, cracked. Crushed, danced, passed, dropped, skate, finished, guessed, help, hoped, height, joked, jumped, knocked, kissed, laughed. Agreed, allowed, answered, appeared, arrived, believed, warned, called, carried, changed, cleaned, closed, cried, described, died, enjoyed. Entered, filled, followed, happened, jailed, accepted, attended, arrested, collected, contacted, counted, decided, defended, demanded, divided, expanded, Expected, exported, floated, graduated, hate, haunted, included, invited, invented, lent. Okay? Were you able to listen to the three pronunciations? Si escuchamos la diferencia en las tres pronunciaciones. Yes. Yes. All right. So, what we have to do, guys, is going to be more practicing. That's what we have to work a lot. Eso es lo que más tenemos que trabajar. 
pronunciation, practicing, practicing, and practicing, okay? Uh, one of the tips that I could, uh, what? That I could give you is like, uh, I understand that in your jobs or at the work while you're working, I mean, everybody speaks Spanish around you. If you go to the store, deme los huevos, deme tortillas. We don't speak English, we speak Spanish, all right? So what I need you to, don't be sad, Elizabeth, <laughs> don't be sad. Uh, what I need you to do is like, one of the suggestions that I give you is, si usted va a un X, Y lugar, Trate de repetir un verbo. Trate, si usted ve una ventana, diga, oh, window. Si usted va en el carro, usted diga, oh, uh, what, uh, bus, or no car, or uh, drive. Tratar de practicar cualquier cosita que usted vea. So, así de esa manera usted se mantiene, aunque sea una palabra, dos palabras, three words, each day. So in that way, you will be still practicing and practicing and practicing. Is that what we have to do? Once again, I understand that outside, everyone speaks Spanish. So that's why you have to take advantage of this hour. Y en esta hora, practice. Otra cosa que les iba a pedir. Favor. Cuando vayamos a los breakout rooms, tratar de hablar inglés. La mayoría me he fijado que en los breakout rooms todos hablan español. No he visto a nadie dando indicaciones, diciéndole compañero esto, compañero lo otro en inglés. Nadie. So, there, I need you to practice your English, guys. Remember, this is for you. Y no los estoy regañando, ¿verdad? It's just that I want you to learn, ¿sí? I want you to learn, ¿sí? Quiero que aprendan y que aprendamos de la mejor manera, ¿ok? So we saw that yesterday. It's, it's pretty much like, like the same information that we saw yesterday. Cómo crear las frases negativas. So we already know that, ¿ok? So we have did not or didn't. El verbo, cuando se, when we use the auxiliary, the verb is going to be in the base form. And we already know that. See, ya sabemos eso. We're going to uh, move on to the next part. So we have uh, 12 minutes. Tenemos 12 minutos para practicar our pronunciation. So please go ahead and take a screenshot of this part. And we are going to move on to the breakout rooms, OK? Por lo visto, se van a salvar del examen, pero mañana no se me salva. Ok. <laughs> All right, so you let me know when you're done with this part so I can move to the next one. Yo me acordé que mañana tengo que trabajar. Oh my God, it, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can I move to the next one? Well, so this part number two. Okay, so I will stop sharing right now and let me give you some instructions. En esta necesito que por cada punto una persona vaya participando. La primera persona lee hasta el primer punto, segunda persona otro punto, tercera persona hasta el otro punto, and so on and so on and so on. I need everyone to participate. Once again, if you go to the breakout rooms, trate de hablar inglés. No quiero escuchar a todos, no he escuchado a nadie. Decir algo en inglés cuando están en los breakout rooms. Ok, so I will be checking that today. Ahora vamos a ver si es cierto. ¿verdad? Si usted no sabe cómo decir, pregunte. Compañeros, ¿cómo digo esto? So, todos nos ayudamos. We are here to learn. Ok, please. So, please everyone go to your rooms and I will be checking all of you there.
<laughs> Are you having any any situation, Sonia and Nancy? Good night, teacher. Night. So what's going on? Are you are you going to connect the group or not? Yes. How about you? No, you. Did you receive the invitation? Yes, aparecen dos conectados, teacher. Oh no, no, no. That's no. No, you didn't go to the room. No recibiste la invitación. So let me see. Let, sí. let me send you to another group. Let me, let me change you. Can you check now? Sí, ahora. Okay, cool. Okay, do it, do it. The second one. The first? Who is the first one? Elizabeth? Yes. Okay. Let's begin. Excellent. Elizabeth. It follows with Matthew home. Fiona liked the dough and she gave it some food. It ate the food very quickly. It sat down outside their front door. At 10 p.m. it was cold. Fiona let the dog inside. It's all. Um... Okay, who is started? Quien empieza? Okay. Yes. Okay. Ahora voy a voy a leer yo porque dijo el teacher que en the point a person different reading que en cada punto le, leyéramos diferente. Okay. El Google Drive foto. No lo tengo. Mm, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have problem with the screen. Nobody has the, the screenshot? No. The problem um, is that my cell phone, if I, I share the picture, uh, close my session. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that what you can do is, I mean, all of you have your phones or in the computers, right? So you can just follow, follow the lecture on, on your phones and one participate, then another one and the other one. It's not necessary like to share the screen. You can do it just by your phone and just read it. Okay. okay, teacher, okay. And Matthew say the toe, the square people a fee. The fee was uh, 
15, uh, 500, how do you say 500? 400, 500 of libra esterlina. 500. 500 libra esterlina. Now, uh, Hilda lives with Amatio and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree chum and nice dogs, biscuits. Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knee in the evening. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Oh, very good. Story. Okay, the next screenshot. <laughs> the next screenshot. To, to complete the, the, the question, the sentence. Okay. Perdón, compañero, no sé si están viendo. Teacher, I need a second screenshot. No sé si están viendo que yo comparto pantalla o no. We need a second screenshot. Do you help us? Uh, let me okay. let me check. Let me check if I can send it to you through the chat. But well, just let me double check. I think I can't. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, no, because think for that. the group, this for the okay. Oh, no. Let me check. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, we'll try to to work when all the group starts. Okay, Damaris, if you want, you can read again the history. Oh, okay, the, the history. Yeah, to practice because okay. there are some birds that we don't know. For example, okay, read. Right. Okay, okay. Right. The 11? Right. No, it's a question. Right. Did she? Did she? Why? Why? In, in 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 invite. We're just going to wait for the ones to come back to the main session, okay? So. I can see that some others are still connected in their groups. And, uh, Okay, well, so how did it go? How do you feel now, like um, with the pronunciation of the verbs? Is still difficult for you to pronunciate the verbs? Still difficult? Yes, teacher. Okay, it's difficult. So, you know what yes, you, have, you have to do is to try to practice Try to practice at home, like try to make the pronunciation or things like that, okay? So the exercises are just for you to practice. 
for you to practice at home. If you want to practice at home, do it. But other than that, uh, um, that's all we have to do. Remember to keep working on the platform, guys, okay? Keep working on there. You have to have till section number three this week because we are checking your progress, okay? If there's no question, guys, that's going to be all for today. I appreciate that you're all here and always participating. Thank you so much for that. So see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night everyone. Good night.